Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk to you about my current favorite products. I've been trying out a bunch of new things lately and I've been really impressed so far. So if you're interested in seeing my current favorite products, then please keep on watching. Alright, so first I'm going to talk about skincare. I'm going to do it in order. So I would talk about skincare first, then uh, face products, then eyeshadows and stuff like that. So uh, for skincare, I've been really, really impressed with the e.l.f. skincare line. This is uh, the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I love this stuff. It's so, so good. I've been using this for like the past four months already and I'm just loving this. This has definitely taken the place of my Pond's moisturizer. Y'all know how much I love that moisturizer if you've seen some of my previous videos. I love that moisturizer because I have really dry skin um, and it just hydrates my skin really well. But this one has taken the place of my Pond's moisturizer. I still use the Pond's one but this one is just like my ultimate go-to right now. So this smells amazing. It just has a really nice, clean scent to it. And what I love about this is that it looks like it's a squeezy tube, but it comes with a pump. So this like definitely sold me. When I saw it in store, the packaging of course like sold me because I was like, this is so cool. I've never seen anything like this. So I use this before I apply my makeup and I also use this at night when I take off all of my makeup so this stuff is so good. It's not like the Pond's moisturizer where it's really um, I would say um, oily. It kind of leaves a little bit of dewiness to the skin when I use the Pond's moisturizer but this one you apply it and it feels really nice on your skin but it doesn't look shiny or anything like that so I really 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 love this moisturizer right now. It's so good mm, it's just my ultimate love right now I love this okay, so the next skincare product by elf that I've been loving is the elf hydrating gel melt cleanser this is what it looks like I just love this packaging I love the color of it so basically what this is it's a clear gel so when you open it up it looks like that I've used quite a bit um, honestly a little bit goes a long way with this and you want to remove your makeup a lot of people use just makeup wipes but I like to use this because I really do feel like it really removes absolutely everything so I love using this when I'm wearing a lot of makeup so like today I would definitely use this um, I grab my two fingers like that scoop out a little bit of product and just start rubbing it all over my face so rub 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 I start with one half of my face and then I go to the other half um, and then it just starts melting off all of your makeup. I was so impressed the first time I used this because it just removed absolutely everything. What you can do is when you apply this and you start melting off all of your makeup, you can go to the restroom and just wash your face. But what I like to do is I, of course, melt off all of my makeup and then I grab a Neutrogena uh, makeup wipe and then I just start like rubbing it off with the cleanser on my face. So it just helps removing your makeup a lot better. Um, and then I go to the restroom and then I start washing my face so I just like you doing it that way and this is also really good to remove your liquid lipsticks this stuff is just so so good I love it alright the foundation that I've been absolutely loving I'm sure you can guess what it is because everyone's talking about it right now it's the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation I'm in the shade 300 this foundation just blew me away the first time that I tried it so like it says it's a matte foundation and me I hate matte foundations I really really don't like them because I'm really dry and I feel like most matte foundations really just don't look good on my skin because it gives me a lot of texture and I just don't really like matte foundations but this one I just really really like it I loved how it looked on my skin it did not emphasize any texture once you're applying it it's more of a satin finish but once it sets onto your face it sets matte I did do a first impressions video on this foundation so if you're interested in seeing that I'll have it linked down below so you can watch that so when you're out buying this foundation I definitely suggest you to get a shade lighter than your normal foundation color because this does oxidize a lot um, but I did that I got a shade lighter than what I normally am and this is absolutely amazing on me so it did oxidize a little but it oxidized to the color that I wanted it to be so I would definitely suggest you to get a shade lighter so next I'm going to talk about concealer so one of them is a color correcting concealer and it's the hard candy sheer MB color correct cushion wonder this is what it looks like this is in the peach shade so what I do is before I apply concealer I apply this on my dark circles and then of course I blend it out with a beauty blender 
And then on top of this, I like using regular concealer. So I really do feel like this really makes a difference with my makeup. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it really helps brighten and, you know, reduce the look of dark circles. So I really, really like this. It's a very light sheer formula, hence the name Sheer MV Concealer. Um, it's a really sheer formula, but I really do feel like it gets the job done. And for regular concealer that I'm wearing today is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm in the shade Medium 30. This is what it looks like. Once you apply it, it feels really nice and it blends out really nicely on your under eyes. But once it dries, it really sets. It does not move. So I put a little bit on the back of my hand. That's right there. It's really, really brightening as well. It does give nice coverage. I really like it, honestly. I feel like... Of course, I love the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I love it. Um, this is my absolute, absolute, <laughs> it's my absolute favorite concealer ever. Um, but this one has to come in second, I would say, because it's really nice. It gives a really nice coverage. It does not crease on my under eyes. I really, really, really love this. It's only, what, $6? I feel like ColourPop is really coming out with a bunch of new products and I feel like they're killing it with absolutely everything. So next I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. This is in the shade 10 Air Light. So I use this to set my under eye concealer and to bake and all that. So I love this. I do own the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I feel like this, in my opinion, is 10 times better. It does a beautiful, beautiful job. It really brightens my under eye and it just looks and feels really, really nice. So. Um, in my opinion, the Laura Mercier one can be a little heavy, like, like I can feel the powder on my under eyes, which shouldn't happen because that's like a $40 translucent powder, and this one's 5 bucks, and this one's just like perfect. I don't feel it. Um, it's very comfortable. I just really love this, and I think it's so, so worth a try because it's really, really inexpensive. You can use this to set your foundation and all that, but I only use this to set my under eye concealer. Uh, but it's so good. It's so, so good. Been loving that. Alright, so for highlighters, I do have three that I want to show you because I just, you know, I'm a highlighting whore. I love, love highlighting. Um, one of them that I'm wearing today is the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio Metallic Highlighter. This is what it looks like. It's so so good. Where has this been all my life? This is one of the best highlighters from the drugstore. Just look at it. It's so beautiful. It's so pigmented. I barely swirl my finger in here and just look at the pigment. This is what it looks like. So I'm also wearing this. I only put on a little bit because I just didn't want to put too much highlighter on. This might be too much for some of y'all, but I didn't want to put a lot. So I lightly dipped my brush into it and then I applied it on my face. Uh, but you can see here, it can be really, really, really blinding. I heard that they're coming out with more shades, and I'm so happy about it because I want there to be, like, a thousand shades of these highlighters because they're so, so good. The next highlighter is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. So I did a video on these highlighters, and I did mention that this one was my favorite, and it is. I love this. This is a golden highlighter. It's so beautiful. I really, really like this. I've been using this a lot lately. This one is my go-to, I would say, because it's just easy. Like, if I'm undecided, if I'm undecisive on a certain day of what highlighter I should wear, this one's just my go-to. So I'm going to swatch it next to Molten Gold. This one's definitely a lot lighter than Molten Gold. So you can see that Molten Gold is a lot more on the gold side. And... Golden Flower Crown is gold as well, but it's more on the light pearly side. So the palette that I have to show you today is the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant. This is a baked, illuminating, and bronzing palette. So it's so nice. I got this at Ulta like a few months ago, and this one is also a really nice highlighting palette. So I'll swatch all of the four shades. So it's definitely dry to the touch because they are baked. But they're very, very pigmented. So you can see right there, they're very shimmery and very nice. The eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing today on my eyes and the palette that I've been just absolutely obsessed with lately is the ColourPop Yes Please eyeshadow palette. This palette is stunning. It's beautiful. Ugh, just look at those shades. They're perfect for the fall time. I just feel like I would wear this eyeshadow palette all year round, to be honest. 
So um, it comes with eight matte shades and four shimmer shades. So it's a 12 color eyeshadow palette and it's just perfect. I've heard that this is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. So this is only 16 bucks and that Natasha Denona palette is like, what, a hundred and something dollars? <laughs> I don't know how well those eyeshadows are. I've heard they're absolutely amazing, but I just can't seem to spend that much money on a palette. Um, so this one just has me completely content, and it filled that void for the Natasha Denona palette. These shadows are so, so nice. They're very, very pigmented, and they're really easy to blend out. Um, let me swatch a few for you. So I'm going to swatch this one, this one, and, and this one right here. So you can see right there, they're really, really nice and pigmented. I'm going to swatch them right here for you. So you can see they have really, really nice pigmentation. Yeah, I just love this palette. I am wearing it today on my eyes, like I said. I do feel like the ColourPop eyeshadow palettes are really, really nice. I do have another one. Um, and I have another one coming in tomorrow. And the next eyeshadow palette that I've been loving lately is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. This is the, actually the palette that I took with me on vacation. I was gone for a week, and this is the only eyeshadow palette that I took. This just has absolutely every color that I would possibly need. It's really easy. So it comes with four matte shades, six metallics, and two extra shimmery shades. I've just been really loving this eyeshadow palette, and they're so, so pigmented. So I will swatch a few for you right now. I'll swatch them here. So, Alright, next let's talk about brows. So, I'm sure you've heard me rave about these brow pencils. These are the e.l.f. brow pencils in the shades Taupe and Dark Brown. The reason that I use two shades is because I like using the shade Taupe in the inner part of my brow and the shade Dark Brown on the outer part of my brow. I, I just think it gives me the perfect natural looking brow. I'm not wearing this today, unfortunately. I do have another product that I want to show you. But, um, yeah, these are my perfect everyday brow pencils. I do like using these on my natural days and also my heavy makeup days. So, these are just the perfect brow pencils. They're only $2. I can't believe it. They're so affordable. And I just think they're really, really good. I, I think they're just so good and so worth it. So, I have to go and repurchase them all the time. Because these just do the perfect job for me. But the, what I'm wearing today is also another favorite. It's the e.l.f. Lock-On Liner and Brow Cream in the shade Medium Brown. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of like the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I do own that as well. And I like this a lot better, honestly. I do use the Anastasia one still, but I like this one better. This one's only like 3 bucks, I think, or 3 or $4. And the reason why I like this a lot better than the Anastasia one is because I feel like the Anastasia one is very heavy on my brows like I feel like I'm wearing a lot of brow product and with this one I just feel like it's very light on my brows I do use the um, brow angled brush with the spoolie at the end to apply this on my brows I just think it gives the perfect brow it still looks natural but it doesn't look super super heavy so I really really like this as well so the mascara that I've been loving is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. This is in the shade Black. I've been really liking this. So, I did try this out in a first impressions video, and I did mention that it was very dry. But I felt like maybe I got a dud or something, because it was just not good. And a lot of people were saying how good this mascara was. So, I noticed that it was very dry. So what I did to fix it is I grabbed a hot cup of water... And I just stuck this in there and I left it in there for a few minutes so it could like really melt the mascara inside of the bottle. And then once I used it, it worked a lot better. So I really, really liked how it turned out once I did that. And it does give me really nice long lashes when I did that. So when I used this in my first impressions video, I did not like it because it was so dry. But once I did that, it fixed the problem and it's a lot better now. Alright, so now for lips, I have two favorite lip colors to show you today. They're both from Anastasia, so the first one I have to show you is one that I'm wearing today. This is the Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in the shade Catherine. Y'all, this is so beautiful. Most of y'all know that I'm a nude lipstick kind of girl. I love my nude lipsticks. I just love nude lipsticks, nude lip glosses, nude 
lip liners, nude everything, <laughs> honestly, they're my favorite. And wearing something like this is a little bit out of my comfort zone because I don't wear colors on my lips. I don't know, I just love nude lipsticks. But this, I just think is absolutely stunning. I think it's gorgeous. I was not expecting to love this lipstick color as much as I do. So I like need five tubes of these, please, because I know I'm going to be wearing this a lot. So it's so pretty. So, so pretty. So I just want to mention this. So with Anastasia Liquid Lipsticks, they are very comfortable, but they can also be very, very drying. So... Um, I would recommend you to exfoliate your lips and wear a chapstick. Uh, make sure your lips are moisturized before you apply this because if your lips are really, really chapped and you apply this, this will just wear terribly throughout the day. So trust me, I've been there. So um, I'm speaking from experience. But yeah, these are really, really nice. Just make sure you exfoliate and your lips are moisturized. So my next favorite lip color that I've been absolutely loving lately is another Anastasia product. This is the matte lipstick in the shade Peachy. It's so, so nice. Very, very fancy looking. So here is the lipstick. It's so beautiful. I've been wearing this a lot lately. It's just stunning. So let me show it to you right here. I'm going to swatch it. There's the color right there. So I will say this, um, this is more of like a drier formula, so when I applied it, it was really, really hard. Like I had to like, like really, really press on my lips to apply this. Um, this is more of a drier formula, but it's more of a comfortable formula as opposed to the liquid lipstick. So these are matte, but they're more comfortable on the lips. Compared to the liquid lipsticks, these do transfer. They do um, wear off throughout the day because, you know, it's a lipstick. But this one lasts a really, really long time. So um, those are my two favorites right now. I just love those lipsticks. And next I have some lashes. So I've been loving these lashes. They're the ones I'm wearing right now. I think they're so beautiful. They're, they're the Miss 3D Volume Lash Premium Silk Lashes. This is what the packaging looks like. So obviously they're not in there because I'm wearing them. But these were $3.99 at my local beauty supply store. So I was shocked because these would honestly be like $10 if they were to be sold at Ulta or something. They're so, so nice. They're a really, really nice quality lash and they feel really, really comfortable. Like I honestly can't feel like I'm wearing anything right now. Like they feel so, so nice. So um, I've been loving these. I did see that they do have them on Amazon. I think they might be $6 on Amazon or something like that. Um, but I did see them on there. Maybe there's different sellers and they have different prices, but um, I did see them on there and they are available on Amazon. Uh, so yeah, those are the lashes. I've gotten so, so many compliments on them every time I wear them. The last thing I want to show you is a perfume. I remember wearing this perfume in high school um, and I just recently repurchased it. So it's, oh my gosh, I forgot how much I love this perfume. This is the Pink Sugar Perfume. This is the packaging that it comes in. It has a really, really sweet smell to it. It smells like cotton candy. Everyone tells me I smell like cotton candy when I wear this, but it smells so, so nice. So this is what it looks like. It's just a cute bottle. Oh, it just smells so good. It smells like cotton candy. It smells sweet. It smells really, 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 really nice. Mmm. Um, I've been loving this and I think it's perfect for the fall time. It has that nice fall time smell to it. I don't know. I just think it smells really, really nice. So I love this. It also reminds me of like when I was a child. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I had a perfume that kind of smelled like this and it was reminding me of it. But it takes me back to like my childhood. So I really, really love this perfume. It smells so good. So if you see this anywhere and they have a tester, definitely check it out because it's like my signature smell right now. I love it. All right, so that is everything that I have to show you today. Those are all of my Karen favorites. I have been loving absolutely everything. Um, yeah, I'm just, ugh, my love for these products are like on a whole other level. Um, but yeah, leave me a comment down below to let me know if you've been loving any of the products that I showed you today because I just want to know. I want to interact with you guys and see 
what products I've been loving. And if you recommend any products for me to try out, please leave them down below. I just want to try out new things as well. So thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Also, follow me on my social media. I have an Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and a Snapchat. I have all that listed in below. Can you tell I have this memorized? I say it in every video, and it's like the same. Yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm, hey y'all. Hey guys. <laughs> Alright, so I have three conceal. Seriously, what just fell? Oh, that's what just fell. Hey guys, welcome back. So I really like this concealer. I would definitely suggest you to get a shade lighter as well. <coughs> I almost choked on my own spit. <clears throat> so good. The next highlight, highlight, the shade. So, so the eyeshadow palette that I'm wearing today on my eyeshadows. So, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I have an Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and a Snapchat. I'll have all that listed down below so you can go follow me on there. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.